Alright farmers, it's Thursday the 26th of January and we got some new mods. Alright, first up we got Elegant House, this is by Roger G Play, 13.96 megabyte on the download. You're gonna find it in the construction menu and on the buildings and farmhouses, as you can well imagine. So there it is, 75 grand to place down. Obviously, it's a farmhouse for you to have a bit of a kip if you want to get through the night without having to fast forward. So you come up there like that, there's your sleep trigger. Obviously, usual shenanigans on the go with that. Oh, I like that, though. Nicely detailed. Obviously, you can't go inside. There's no wardrobe icon, but you can easily get to that through the menu anyway. Yeah, that's a nice house, that is. Right, next up is Small Chicken Coop. This is by Kasani317. 9.57 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it in a construction menu and on the animals and chickens, as you could well imagine. Four and a half grand to buy. Where else would a chicken pasture be? <laughs> Fair enough. Right, so you've got the chicken area where they're all out. So sort of like a, a free roaming, free range sort of setup. So you've got this big area here is where you're going to put your food in. Fair enough, that's the big hatch marking area. you then got this hatch marking area there is going to be your egg pallet spawn point. We'll come down this side, your animal dialogue box. It's going to be 47 chickens going in there. And also, if you wanted to, you can go in here. Have a little look inside. Yeah, it stinks in there. Oh, gonna get up quick. Ah, dear, oh dear. Oh, I like that. Something a little different. You know, a bit of a rustic shed. Can you call it rustic or dishevelled? I don't know. I like it though. Very nice. Right, next up is front loader adapter to wheel loader. This is by Sladgemon. 3.06 megabyte on the download. You're gonna find this under miscellaneous. So this is gonna cost you two and a half grand to buy. And as the name would suggest, this allows you to use wheel loader tools on a front loader, on your tractor. Yeah, that's all right. The only option you got is to change the main color. So we'll do the usual. Why not? Yeah, obviously front loader doesn't have the biggest of tools, shall we say, especially like with shovels or whatever. So you get a wheel loader one on the front of your tractor. Yeah, you might need a bit of a weight on the back, mind you, but oh, excellent. Right, next up is the Unia Slezer. This is by Kawa. 12.73 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it under sprayers. So, this has got a thousand litre capacity. Obviously, going to do your liquid fertilizer and your herbicide. 30 horsepower requirement from your tractor. 12 meter working width, 7 mile an hour working speed. Five and a half grand to buy. Then you've got wheel brands. So, you've got Unia, Trelleborg, and Unia. Fair enough. You've got a couple of different options in between those different ones. You've got designs, you've got without triangle, warning triangle, there you are on the back, warning triangle two, or without. Then you've got decals, so you've got decals, now you've got design decals, let's get that right, without decals. You can have those on the side or nothing. You've got main colour, you go for any one of those, we'll make it red, just the main frame. Design colour, obviously going to do the tank. Ivory, that's more mustard. All right, fair enough. That's more ivory, but all right, carry on. Rim colour, obviously, is going to do the rims. Yeah, that's all right, that is. All right, next up is the Crampy Big Body Tridom Series. This is by Chrissy136, 36.76 megabyte on the download. You're going to find these three on the trailers. Now, all of these have got the same basic options, apart from the capacities. So we've got the Big Body 800, it's going to do 27,900 to 43,500. The big body 900, 31,300 to 49,000. And then the 980, 33,900 to 53,500. So, we'll go into the big one, because all the options are going to be the same across all three. Obviously, apart from the capacities. So, you got your usual shenanigans with the wheel brands and the tyres. We'll come down to contour marking, standard. Contour marking, orange and red. White, orange, or standard. Then you've got stickers, standard. Crampy Rhino or Standard. Yeah, you got to have the Rhino on the side, haven't you? Cat Rhino. Yeah. Then you got Rise. So you got Standard, Ladder, Work Platform or Standard, Drawbar, Standard, Drawbar Crone or Standard. Just changes that bit on the front. Then you got Steering Axle. So Hydraulic Steering, Force Steering or Hydraulic. Not quite sure what that would make. In the game, to be fair, it'd probably just work the same. All right, fair enough. Flex cover, standard. Flex cover or standard. So it just puts a cover on the top. You then got rear light, so we'll spin it around there like that. So we've got standard. Default bottom and top. 
standard. Uh, puts those extras at the top. You then got capacity. So obviously this is where it changes on the different ones. So this one's 33,900. You then got 46,800, 51,100, 51,100 again, 53,500, and then back to 33,9. And change the frame color. You go for whichever one you want. Changes the main frame. Body color, obviously it's going to do the body. And then rim color is going to be the rims. So, there you are. Fair enough. I mean, purple rhino. Oh, I like that. That's a nice set of trailers, they are. Very nice. All right, next up is the HTS 127. This is by AAA Modding. 20.5 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it under slurry tankers. So it's going to do your digest date and your slurry. It's one of those spreaders. 10,000 litre capacity on it. 80 horsepower requirement from your tractor. 10 metre working width. 9 mile an hour working speed. 19 and a half grand to buy. You ain't got your options there. You've got configuration standard. Brown chassis. Green chassis. Red chassis or standard. And you've got wheel setup standard. Yeah, a couple of different options on the wheels. Although, you can't... what is that? Call the tracks, but they look like wheels. Oh, I like that. Actually, that's all right. Ah, fair enough. And you've got design color. It's going to be for the tanks. You've got yellow, yellow, white, or gray. Go for whichever one you want. And then rim color. Obviously, red, white, yellow, or stainless. Oh, that's more like chrome than stainless. I like that, though. Very nice. Right, next up is the MAN TGX26640 box pack. This is by TB Simulationin. I hope I pronounced that correctly. 21.12 megabyte on the download. You're going to find the truck on the trucks and then the two trailers on the trailers. Fair enough. So we'll go into the truck first. So this has got a 640 horsepower engine, 49 mile an hour top speed, 145 grand to buy. You then got the options of grid. So you've got without grid. Or with grid, put those around the lights like that. You then got cooling unit, so without or with, puts like a refrigeration unit underneath. And you got main color, obviously that's going to do your main cab. Design color is going to do, we'll change it up a little, do the back. Oh, that's right, like, because it even keeps a frame. Yeah, that's nice. And then you got your rims, which is rims. Now, this is a transport lorry, it's not auto load. I did try it. Those side doors open and the back doors open as well, but it's not auto load. So you will have to load it yourself, whether you're handballing stuff in or using a forklift truck. Just bear that in mind. Then we've also got this one here, the box trailer. So again, this isn't auto load, but pretty much got the same options as the truck. 38 and a half grand to buy. You have it with or without the cooling unit. Although that doesn't really seem to be changing much, to be fair, because the cooling unit's already on there. But with cooler unit or without, it's on the front. All right, fair enough. Then you've got rear lights, type one, two, or one. Again, main color, you go for whichever one you like. Changes the main body, and then rims does the rims. And then for the last one, the tandem box trailer. Now, this is probably the one I'd go for because the other box trailer, it's got that swivel axle on the front, and I'm terrible at reversing them. 42 and a half grand to buy. This one's got the without or with the cooling unit on the front. Yeah, I'd leave that on. It looks much better. Again, rear lights, type 1 or type 2. And then the colours as previously. So we change that. And then rim colours like that. I like them. I mean, especially how these side doors fold out. Like a concertina sort of shenanigans. Yeah, that's a nice little pack, that is. And the last mod for the day is the McCormick Deering W4. This is by EY Modding, 7.42 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it under small tractors. Obviously, this is old school, but that looks brilliant. 25 horsepower engine, 15 mile an hour top speed, 12 grand to buy. Then you've got the option of the engine setup. So 25 or 30, that's the two engines on it. And then you've got the usual shenanigans with the wheel brands and the tyres. Although there's no wheel brands, to be fair, it's just... The options, right? Fair enough. But this is ace. I'm going to shut up now. I'm going to start it up. Oh, that sounds awesome. That brilliant. I mean, as well, once you get going, if you crank it over, you can sort of get it to tip up on one side. Or oh, it did earlier on. Yeah, it's not going to do it now. Now I'm recording. Yeah, typical. <laughs> dear oh dear but that is ace little old school tractor little mccormick 
Oh, I like that. Very nice. We've also got three maps. So we've got BR163MS by Zero Weto, and it says it's a map based on a stretch of the BR163 highway in the region and the city of Juvedos in the state of Mato Grosso do Sul. That's Brazil. Oh, that looks all right. We've also got Little Land by Fudso, and it says it's a fictional map inspired by the territories of Germany and the Czech Republic. Oh, that looks all right as well. And the third map we got is the Ballam Road Dairy Farming by FS Landscaping. It is based in northwest England. Oh, just like, well, I'm not northwest England, mind you, but I'm in England anyway. That looks great. We've also got a few updates. We've got Crop Storage Pack by DMI 20mm Normandy. Lizard Classic Barrel by Puzzcap. Unia Cultivator Pack by Zimmerwobo Wajonik. And the Vermeer Tedder Pack by Lazy E Modding. So that's your mods done for you. Drop it in the comments below which one's your favourite. We'll see what people are looking at. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's much appreciated. But for me, that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next one.